Welcome to this language focus video on the uses for active and passive voices. In the last video, we talked about the structure and meaning of the active and passive voice. In this video, let's talk about when and why we use each voice. Let's start with the active voice. Most of the time we use the active voice because it's simple and brief. Using active voice in many cases accomplishes this goal. Here's an example. The Russian team won the gold medal for men's volleyball in the 2012 Olympic Games. In this case, we want to know the doer, or who, won, so we use the active voice. The students protested the increase in university tuition. Celebrity chef Sue Vidam wrote a new cookbook highlighting international recipes. Now, even though most of the time we use the active voice, sometimes it's necessary to use passive voice. Let's talk about when the passive is necessary. First, if the focus is on the receiver of the action instead of the doer of the verb, we use passive voice. Let's think back to our example from the last video. The bear attacked the man. Let's pretend that the man is very famous, like soccer superstar Lionel Messi. If he were attacked by the bear, this would surely be in the news. In this case, since the receiver of the verb is very famous, we would want to put this information first and therefore use the passive voice. Lionel Messi was attacked by a bear. Another example is, my car was stolen. Here, I may not know who exactly stole my car. The most important part of this sentence is the receiver of the verb, my car, and the action itself, stolen. In the active voice, this sentence looks like this. An unknown person stole my car. Again, we want the most important information in the front of the sentence, so we use the passive voice here. So the first reason to use passive voice is if the receiver of the verb, or the verb itself, is more important than the doer of the verb. A second reason you might use passive voice is if we can understand who the doer is from the information in the rest of the sentence, and therefore don't need to mention the doer at all. For example, Barack Obama was elected as President of the United States. Here, Barack Obama received the action of being elected. Who elected him? Well, the doer of the verb is not identified in the sentence, but we know that citizens of the United States voted in the election and that he won because of those votes. We wouldn't use active voice here. People elected Barack Obama as President of the United States because the doers are already understood from the sentence. In summary, active voice is many times the clearest way to give information. But if the action or the person receiving that action is the most important part of that sentence, journalists use passive voice. Check your understanding with a game. Up next, a video on writing accurately and concisely.